Hello everyone. In this session, we will see how to use smart list to derive members dynamically and use this in business rule effectively. Let's go through the requirement. In this requirement, I need to calculate employee bonus based on the month. The bonus month may vary by employee. In this example, let's see employee 1 has bonus month July and employee 2 has bonus month September. I have attached a business rule to this form. Let's save this and business rule will be run. I have another form employee bonus details and bonus is automatically calculated in the month of July for first employee and in September for the other employee. Let's see how to achieve this functionality now. In employee bonus form, user should be able to select the bonus month by employee. That means I need to create a smart list for this. I have created a smart list called bonus month. It has 12 entries Jan to December and this smart list is attached to an account dimension member called bonus month. Data type is smart list and smart list is bonus month. Even though Hyperion planning shows text value in smart list but S base stores it as a number. In business rule we have to use by ID. If beginning balance bonus month equal to 1 that means bonus needs to be calculated in the month of January. Similarly, if bonus month is 2, then we need to assign bonus to Feb month. If I follow this approach, I need to use 12 statements. Instead of writing these many if-else statements, it is possible to simplify the business rule by using at the rate member at function. The syntax of this function is at the rate member at member list, comma, member index. Member list defines the members. Member index is a non-zero integer. If it is positive, let's say 1, then it will return the first member in this member list. For example, if I write Jan to December and member index is 1, then this function returns January. If I keep 2 as a member index, then Feb will be returned. In our example, Smart list will give us the member index. If I choose beginning balance bonus month as January, then this will bring 1. Member list range is Jan to December. Then if this index is 1, I will be getting January. If user has selected bonus month as Feb, beginning balance bonus month will become 2. Then this function will return Feb. And we know in if statement I have to use if at the rate is member. When bonus month is 1, this will return January. Then this will be as simple as if at the rate is member January. And bonus equal to annual salary from beginning balance multiplied by 10%. There are couple of issues here in this script. Let me show you with an example now. If user decides to change the bonus month to June. Earlier it was July. Let's save this. Employee bonus details. I am getting the bonus in June and July also. So how to fix this issue? We are checking if the member is Jan to December. Calculate bonus. We need to always do negative testing also. If user changes the month, then in the else statement, we need to clear the bonus in other months. Let's save this and deploy the script and rerun the business rule. Review the calculated result. Now the bonus is calculated only in one month. We will see another issue in this rule. Let's say an employee may not get bonus in this year. How to deal with that situation? Will there be any issue in the rule? Let's save this. It says error detected while attempting to run job employee bonus calculations. Let's see job console and open the error. It says error executing formula index out of range. How to fix this issue? To understand this, let's see the smart list now. In this example, index is between 1 and 12. When 
this bonus month is empty here we are getting beginning balance bonus month is null value in that case it will not be able to find out the position in this list to avoid this issue it's always better to check for null values if big balance bonus month not equal to hash missing then only run this if statement save this rule deploy the rule deployment is successful let's run the rule now now you see bonus is not calculated for this employee and the existing bonus that was calculated from previous run is also cleared in this session we have seen how to simplify business rule using smart list and at the rate member at function thank you for joining today's session i have published hyperion planning advanced course on udemy please refer description box below for coupon code please subscribe to my youtube channel happy learning